Hello my beautiful people and welcome back. Uh, tonight we're doing something a little bit different than you usually see me do. I have been enjoying my journey with texture very very much and it's very exciting and a lot of fun and um, I was playing the other night and I had well actually when I was playing I did these two pieces just sort of as test pieces and then last night I actually painted this one and I'm just in love with how it looks. I'm so happy with it. It came out so pretty and I'm really loving the texture that's on here and just all of the different shapes that have been created and that very smooth flowing style is just really exciting to me. So today we're gonna, I have another one that I'm gonna show you right now that I've already done and is dry and we're going to paint on it. So this is a 10 by 20 repurposed canvas and the white stuff <laughs> is speckle, lightweight speckle, which is pretty fun. Uh, I have to say it's a lot of fun. It's kind of like the consistency of marshmallow fluff. So playing with it, you know, I probably sat here for about two hours just messing around with it before I came up with this and then redid it a few times until I was happy with it. But it was really, really fun to play with and very, very relaxing. So. If you're stressed, this might be something for you to consider. So we're going to paint on this one today and let me show you the colors that I'm using. So these are all leftovers that I have added to a little bit of water. So they're my normal, these are actually the ones that were mixed with Oetrol. I have some Prussian blue here from Golden. Can you see inside there? I have some Thalo Turquoise from Golden. I have some Pebio Studios greenish blue. I have my Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics in 24 karat gold. I have some Amsterdam bronze and I have some permanent violet dark from golden also. So literally I just poured a little bit of water in each of those cups and then poured a little bit of the paint and mixed it all up. So it's kind of very watery right now. So, so the first thing we're going to do, I also have some brushes that I've gotten that I'm really actually very pleased with. These are by Transon and I got a whole pack of them off of Amazon. Lots of fun, really, really fun to play with. So now I'm gonna pull up my chair because my back is hurting and I'm gonna put my glasses on so I can actually see and we're gonna get started. <laughs> okay, so I'm probably not gonna talk very much after this. We're just gonna play. All right, I'm gonna start over here and I'm gonna start with some of that beautiful phthalo blue. And we're just gonna have some fun. And paint this is dry it's not wet anymore it took about three or four days for it to dry because I had it on there pretty thick and you can't see this edge sorry Thank you. 
aqui.
did you sit decide beforehand which colors you were going to paint where? No. Oh, you're just winging it? Just winging it. You know how I like to wing it. Yep. Winging it's good. We like winging it. Well, I also used what colors I had left from leftovers also. I mean, I have a ton of leftovers right now, so I <laughs> well, as you're progressing across there. Well, I was trying to do kind of a gradient thing. Which I think looks pretty cool. Okay, that's pretty cool. What do you think, honey? Yeah. So what do you think about colors for this and this? Turquoise? Um, or maybe turquoise up here and the lighter green down here? You, yeah. If I were going to do this again, I would definitely tape off the edges. Mm.
notes anywhere? Oh, yeah, there's one right here where you just were. At the end of that yellow bit. switch brushes. We're going to take the bigger one and we're going to add some gold. So the gold I have added a little bit more of the paint to it and it actually does this really beautiful not only is it adding shimmer but it also slightly changes the color in a little bit in a couple of different places so I don't want to necessarily put the gold all over everything but I do want it in some spots. Or we might put it on everything, you never know. Just to see what we feel like. But I really like it. When I did that other one first, I just did the colors, and I was like, oh, it's so pretty. And I went, oh, I didn't put any gold in there. And then I started to, and I was like, ooh. I think I did put it pretty much all over that one. But I really liked how it looked. Very, very cool. So I'm kind of adding this in some places that are more dry right now. A little bit on top of the bronze just for some more shimmer so the white of the spackle does turn the colors very pastel but I think it's a really pretty effect I was not unhappy with it at all you could just put it on top of everything it would be fine we're just the creek the ridges I just really like the way it looks. It adds a lot of dimension and as it blends with some of the colors, it's a really cool effect. some on the brush and you went, went perpendicular like this across those ridges on the end this yeah go this way though so it like gets stuck on the edges so it's like the, the yeah so like the tips of the mm. yeah there's a little blue there that I didn't necessarily want but that's okay we can just go over it with the bronze. Okay. All right. I think there's one more spot. Two. And here. So this will dry pretty quickly. Probably within half an hour. And it will be looking awesome. So this was a lot of fun. Um, in the next video, if you guys like this one, I can show you how I actually did the part with the spackle paste. And uh, I sort of have to figure out how to explain it because I can do it, but I have to figure out how to <laughs> talk about what I'm doing. So I might need to practice a little bit more. But this was a lot of fun. I'm really enjoying this. Um, I will be teaching a textures class in our fab location at DC in 2024 in August 6th, 7th, and 8th. 
Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. So I hope we see you guys over there. There's going to be a lot of really amazing artists with a lot of new techniques that are a lot of fun and some different stuff. So please check out our website at www.fluidartboutique.com. And I hope we see you in D.C. I will be back with dried results in just a little bit. Should do a slow, sexy spin. So sure. she's got the... Ooh, it looks so cool. I love the light, how it changes on those ridges and like the shadows. So this one is more um, saturated, I think, than the other one. The other one, I didn't add as much paint to the water. It was just a little bit, so it's more pastel. This one's also had 24 hours to dry. So, yeah, I think this one's definitely more saturated. But that's okay. This one has more of a watercolory look, but I like this one too. So. Okay. Fun stuff. All right. Okay, this is the next day, and it's all dry now. It came out so cool. I just, I'm having so much fun with this texture. Look at those shadows. I love that. It's like the most awesome thing. I love those ridges and that texture on there. It's just, it's awesome. It's like so, I keep wanting to <laughs> play with it. This is what happens with the texture stuff. Everybody that sees these is like, ooh, first thing they do is reach out and touch it because we are tactile creatures as humans and we like to touch things. So this came out really, really pretty. I love all these colors. I love that Prussian blue and the turquoise and that iridescent green blue and the permanent violet dark and the bronze and that little shimmer of gold. Just, I don't know if you guys can see it. I can see it from here, which is really, really cool and fun. Just awesome texture on this. I'm just, you know, so different than anything that I've done before that it's really, really exciting for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one too. If you did, leave me a comment and let me know, and I will show you exactly how I did it with the spackle if you guys want to see. So thank you so much for being here. I appreciate all of you. I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful day, and uh, I'll see you guys on Sunday. Bye-bye. <laughs>